So I'm Staff Sergeant Tyler Fonger. I'm the Battalion S3 Air I'm with 1st Battalion 187th Infantry Regiment, Leader Rock Sons here in Camp Tara, Estonia. Yeah, so we had an opportunity to uh, joint air assault with our NATO allies, the Estonians, while we're out here executing our platoon sticks. So after getting all the paperwork processed in the aircraft here, we are able to do an air assault with our Bravo company, which is Bulldog, and 60 Estonians from the 2nd Brigade Conscript Battalion here at Camp Tara. Yeah, it's very important for us because it helps breed interoperability and showing the world that we are the tenacious fighters that we are while working with our NATO partners while we're here in Europe. Yeah, so as the battalion S3 Air, I was able to coordinate with the 2-1 Ground Support Aviation Battalion located in Labarde, Latvia, and they were able to fly up here with two UH-60s to help facilitate this air assault, not only with our companies that are executing platoon sticks, but also to stay longer and facilitate the Estonian joint air assault that we just did today. Yeah, so, the, uh, so yesterday when the Estonians were able to link up with our Bravo company, they executed hot and cold load training on Camp Tara. And then today we had a wheels up time of 1400 local and it was Estonian and US forces on the aircraft flying into the Pawnee training area where they were able to dismount a three step drop, half moon for security, and they push in the wood line for follow on operations. Uh, it's very unique for us and for the 2nd Estonian Brigade because this is the first time they've ever done a multinational air assault here in Estonia. Uh, it helps breed interoperability and then it'll help us support joint operations later because the U.S. and Estonians are now closer NATO allies after this. So our battalion is currently here in Estonia because we're the best in our 3rd Brigade combat team, Rakasans, and our purpose here is because we're the most ferocious and tenacious fighters in our brigades. We're gonna work with the Estonians and help lead, coach, and mentor them so that we can bring it to our level and help strengthen our bonds with our NATO allies. The, um, so the experience here working with the Estonians has been amazing. They have an excellent S-10 cell, which is their liaison officers, and it's helped bridge the gap between the U.S. and Estonian forces. And based on the equipment that we fell on when we got here, it's helped Pre prepare and also support the soldiers while training in this austere environment. First Sergeant Sam Ney, Bulldog Company 1187, Rakasans, 3rd Brigade, 101st Airborne Division. We're looking to get out of this training is to refine our processes and integrate the Estonians into them to make us more effective fighters together. It's important to do that kind of training so if or when we get called upon to defend Estonian shoulder to shoulder, uh, we'll be able to increase our interoperability and make it seamless uh, in order to bolster our defense. The biggest thing we've been able to approve is just refining our tactics in, a, in the terrain that we're not usually operating in. The cold and the snow uh, is definitely something new for us. 
um, and we're learning what we need and what we don't and how to, how to maintain our weapons and ourselves in the environment. The key takeaways is just how easily it is to integrate the Estonians uh, into the U.S. forces. Um, most of them speak English, most of them have a pretty good grasp of tactics and they're, they're more than willing to, to go along with us. Uh, no questions asked, no complaining, no trying to get out of it. Uh, they're just as motivated to be here as we are. Uh, one of the biggest things that soldiers are able to take away from this is they traveled across the world to come here and they're actually able to integrate and train with the Estonians. Um, that's something you can't do back in the States. So being able to, to stand next to a different country's army and show that like, hey, this is, this is actually pretty cool.